Something that I hated All that yap I was spewing Had me thinking what I'm doing Yeah, the music got me hyped But the process got me losing Wasting all that time With a style no one like But then the thought hit me Fuck what other people like My sound was always different My soul was always different My mindset was always different So of course it came different To this day I'm still different And I'm proud to be different Fuck the rhymes, fuck the past Cause my future will be different I wanna feel something now I wanna feel something now I wanna feel something now Something now Something now I wanna feel something now I wanna feel something now I wanna feel something now Something now Something now Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, what's good, what's cracking, what's happening, yeah, it's Mr. Blade Franklin here, and we back again with another gaming carousel, excuse me, and if you listen to the music from the beginning, I hope you kind of liked it, oh, no, no, we're not diving that far into it, but yeah, I hope you did like it, that was a, a little song project I worked on before, uh, just recently, honestly, like about like maybe two two months ago. It is the song I haven't came up with the name just yet, but I titled it feel just just for myself to like feel it out. But it's a jazz track. If you like it, thank you. Thank you. If not, it's all right. It's not everybody's cup of tea. But OK. With today's gaming carousel, I kind of said what the two games was and I didn't say what the last one was going to be because I'll be honest, I, I didn't know either. I'm semi good at pre-planning. I'll get like 85% there if the last 15, I'll wing it. It usually works. So, <coughs> excuse me. The games of today, we're going to revisit Thradmart like always. I'm trying to build Thradmart up. I did a little bit of offline work. And also, as you see now, you can now join up. So if you ever join the stream and I'm happening to do my um, Fred Martin, we'll say, you're welcome to come in. As you see, the commands are there. Just hit I visit and you'll be able, well, not explanation point visit. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said I explanation point visit. And then if you want to talk while you're in the store, explanation point talk and then write your, put a space, then write your message right after. It will show up right in the mark, right in the game. So I'll be able to see you. Plus, you know, if anybody wants to join along, you can even, you know, give me a helping hand. Give one of my, one of my people a day off. You know what I'm saying? So, there's always that. There's always that. And then our second game of the day will be, we're going to play some NHL. I'm going to return back to my goal of being the greatest hockey player of all time. Uh, but I, we'll probably get like a game or two because I already know time flies by and I could play that game like all day. Realistically, I could. <laughs> and the last game, I said, fuck it. Um, let's make it something I, have, I haven't done in a while. Play some Fall Guys, you know. The, la the goal, of course, is to get the crown. Um, hopefully, I could do that. If I can't with, like, under, like, around an hour or so, then end it off from there. So, today's today planned out to be a good four-hour stream. Probably five, to be honest. So, rock with me. Rock with me one time. 
now we got those intros out the way let me get the background music get the ones i can play and there we go got our natural background music so now we got all those out the way we're back in Fradmart. and see i got a couple of people named now see meet Alyssa, meet jacqueline i always fuck up her name because i don't know how to say it at all ananya i'll say ananya so with these three they are going to help me out and i know what you're thinking they're guys with all female names here's the problem the thing i found to help me name everything it's all by different numbers. The problem is they don't tell you what numbers are male or female, so. Yeah. <laughs> and at the end of the day, I don't discriminate. It is what it is. As you see, we got one of our stalkers, Elizabeth. Called Liz for short. She's cool with it. We got Bernard. And we have Terrence. So, we're good. We now have people. Let me like fix this up real quick. So far, I'm very happy to, with, with how everything's working so far. It's a little modded, but, but it works just fine. All right, let me make sure if they don't got any other boxes just lay on the floor. See, this is why I need to double check. Okay, that one's full. Hey, you guys gotta start being careful, man. Come on now. But you're always welcome to Fred Mark. Everyone is. We don't discriminate because everybody's money is the same color. So, so why discriminate against something like that? <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go ahead and start the game before I keep going with some crappy jokes or so. Hold on, I feel like the music might be tiny bit. There we go. Bring down the music just a little bit. See, the in-store radio is not like the normal ones. We're not going to play the normal, annoying, crappy um, store music. No, no, no. We play good music here. We want you to be able to start dancing while you're shopping. <laughs> All right. So we do have enough for a new product to add on. But at the same time, I kind of want to build up some money. A little bit more before I do that but the thing is I believe I have the shelf already do I yep I have the shelves already so I just want to have enough money so that way I could build it up plus from the looks of it I might need to get another I might want to get two more racks now it actually might be a good thing so I need two more racks um, Almost remembered. Hey, God damn. I didn't know I had that much bills and rent sitting around. Well, that's the other part of saving up money. At some point, you guys just be like, well, I got to turn this. I got to take that off real fast. <laughs> All right. So far, we're looking good. Right now, this is, of course, the main goal. I want to get to here. I need 6,700 so I can start upgrading the, the room in the store. But I'm trying to do it all without buying a loan because I know I could just buy a loan right now and just get that real quick. I want to avoid that while at the same time upgrading the store. And so far, I've been proving it through through like how I've been building the store and everything set up. So it's like it's looking very promising. OK, so we got that out the way. You know, while we're at it, too, let's look at the stats. Yeah, for right now, I'm going to be the in store guy to look around oh yeah uh chicken chicken i heard got the prices changed on it where's the chicken chicken oh that's not bad at all i mean that's that's pretty much a tiny bit over market price uh, just say nine bucks fuck it but yeah so far everything's looking fine price wise everybody's saying is is, is on the cheaper side which is good which means more sales. See, I'm someone that, that definitely agrees with a lower price, but never like too, too cheap. You still want to make a profit out of it at the end of the day, of course. 
and see if we get to know our customers as well. That's one thing I definitely like too. Anybody that shops, we get to know you, you know, be a cool, cool member of the of, of the store family. All right, I want to make sure it gets to a good spot that's not too interfering. All right, good. Oh yeah, that's not bad. I mean, it looks it looks skinny as hell, but then again, look look how slim we we got our stalkers are. I don't think that's a problem to worry about. All right, cool. Wrong. See, I like this because then you get get to know your customers after a while. So then, when you know if a customer's been rude or you want to just tell a customer, "Hey, fuck you," you know which one it is. I mean, I, I think that's fair. If I'm going to tell you go fuck yourself, I might as well know your name so I can remember that name to know to say to tell you go fuck yourself. Like I said, I can't control it all, so it's like got got, got a woman named Frank, named Franklin. We got a guy named Kendra. I mean, at the end of the day, any name I just put in is just we treat it like it's a unisex. Very easy. Anybody can use it. Okay. Now we got that introduction out the way. We need three flower. What else we need? What else we need? I want to make sure to get the necessities. I think that's the best thing to do. Honestly, we can never have enough eggs. All right. Mm. Okay, okay. Rice. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. But yes, we definitely need some rice. All right, uh, we can use one soda since we're down to one. All right, definitely got to get some more cereal. So your cereal will just be flying off the shelves. We could work down the chocolate a little bit. One on the bleach. Uh, fuck it. Get two cleaners. Get three soap. Can never use enough soap. Okay, okay. Need to get four chickens just because we keep running out of chicken so goddamn fast. Get some tuna. See, I really like this mod here because this mod is so fucking helpful. Everything tells you like what you got, so I don't have to keep running back and forth to look and see. I also like the mod to where I could just buy as much as I need and not have to worry about keep rebuying. The only thing I have to ever have to worry about is just trying to make sure I grab everything before it hits uh, eight o'clock, which is uh, it's just getting close. Not eight, nine. Oh, come on, come on, come on. What else do I need? Two steak, two sushi. Is that everything? I better be because it's getting, getting tight. All right, that's everything and restock. There we go. So now we all set and everything just scattered. But even though it's scattered, everything is here. Damn, the rack's full. All right, I'll work on that. Oh, don't do this shit again to me. All right, so there's this one glitch that does this to where like, it makes it almost impossible for me to put the shit down on the shelf. I don't know what's making it do that, but that's a problem I'm having. All right, uh, fuck it, you, you get a spot. So that's why I gotta start being very careful when I start doing this. Occupied. Okay. Boom. But I have noticed it's mostly with the smaller boxes. When I do it with the bigger boxes, it, it doesn't give me that issue. All right, we're looking good. Clean this all off the street. 
Oh yeah, let me make sure I close the sign. Don't run over my boxes, bruh. Last thing I need him to do is run over my boxes. Wait, I have a full rack of eggs. Huh, that's interesting. I wouldn't think I have a full rack of eggs. Okay, I was about to say, I know I dropped some more boxes. There's no way in hell that's not all my stuff. Of course it's occupied. Why wouldn't it be? Chicken, chicken. Where did I put the chicken? Oh, we actually have a lot of chicken. Well, you can never use too much chicken. Especially when it comes to this place. Nice. I have a spot on the shelf for those. Okay, so it said the eggs rack is full. Which one is this? I want to see how full these eggs are. Oh, yeah, those. Oh, never mind. Yeah, those eggs are filled to the fucking brim. All right, so note to self. Uh, be careful. Find shit. But so far, so good. We're, we're looking good. Go. Eggs stacked up. Items put away. We're looking good on the numbers. Right, statistic how we looking today all right we sold 500 items 11 people say things was overpriced and they couldn't find one thing okay what was overpriced that's what kills me the most with this that thing it tells me what the market price is all of my prices are under market price how the fuck am i overpricing something if i'm already underpricing the competition because your competition will be telling you hey you gotta pay three three dollars and four cents for some pepsi when at frat mart you could get that shit for three dollars flat how is that over yo you know what makes it worse all of these have icons next to it saying people bought it and thought it was cheap so for every one for, for for every one person that bought a pepsi Seven people was like, what the fuck are you talking about? This shit is cheap. For every two person that said, hey, the hummus is overpriced, 14 of them said that shit was cheap. How am I overpricing you if everybody else says it's cheap? Maybe you just broke. If you broke, just say that. Because, bruh. And I'm not even trying to click for him saying that shit. Bro, that is that is for real. If you broke, just say that. Alright. Good job. Fuck it. You guys definitely guys. Good job, guys. Done very well. Especially you, Alyssa. I heard very good compliments from you. Keep up the good work, alright? Alright, while the stalkers take care of the last bit, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, so overall, we got 61 satisfied customers. And only one person talking about they couldn't find an item. We most likely got it restocked now, whatever it is. That or somebody just blew off the shelf like a madman. All right, dark roast and oil. Let's take care of these prices before I do anything else. All right, dark roast. Eight dollars flat. All right, I know which oil it is. This one here. It went up. Make that fall. Hey, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. I'll let you know now. If you're someone trying to sell me art or you want my my um Discord, the answer is no. Not 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 doing that today. But thank you for visiting either way.
All right. Let's New make homie. Sure what? What the? F hey, thank you for the follow. Though. All right. We oh, I don't have ketchup. Definitely need some ketchup. Okay. Get some more scallops. I mean, so far everything looks fine here. Get two brown sugar. Get three light roasts. Alright, so far we're looking alright when it comes to everything. Even the stuff that technically says red, we're pretty much good. Yeah, we got everything on shelf. So yeah, someone must have just got old, out outbid or some shit. That's the only way I can think of that. Ooh, these bills are starting to eat now. Now we definitely gotta start properly raising the prices more. Cause it's like right now, I don't know which one I wanna focus on more. I don't know if I wanna focus on buying the next section or just getting a new license because honestly i could get a new license because from the looks of everything on this list everything on this list is stuff for the shelf i just added two fresh shelves ready to go so honestly i'm pretty pretty sure i'm i'm good with that so we might do that all right where am i at i'm at 30 hundred 3,000. Okay, I'm at 3,000 and I need 3,500. All right, so fuck it. We'll play out through this day and then from there we'll see where we could go. Oh, I admit, like I said, the loans look good, but I, I, I want to keep playing this game without getting one loan. I feel like doing that is like very good. All right, good shit, Bernard. Good shit, Terrence. I'll say you guys have been doing great, stalkers. Elizabeth, I was trying to let you know. Good job. All right, Liz. All right, fuck it. I tried. But all right, Fradmar is open. Let me go ahead and help out with this here. Now, you know, we'll just see how the customers are. All right, we're good. It's a nice day out though man i wish i could just take the day off and chill but the job needs to be done here at fred mark let's see how it is inside the store all right cool cool liz doing your job how you doing how you doing welcome to fred mark hope you find everything all right okay so let's see here we got our two here Nice, people can walk by. Hey, how you doing? I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. All right, so I got fresh shelves. I could still do the two and two method or I could go four. As well as I got a spot here. So I think I'm gonna keep it two, two. That way my stalkers got something to do and everything gets put out as supposed to. Win-win type of situation. Hey, everybody's coming in. See Rex. All right, have a nice day. Hope you enjoy. See, it's that sundress season, bro. This shit kicking. All right, come on, you guys. Let's make sure we help out everybody. Give them all a smile. Let them know. Welcome to Fradmont. Let's just do our best. All right, let me see here. Okay, eggs are still pretty stocked, so I don't need to change those up yet oh definitely you do get some more oh yeah all right so i, I see what, what we're missing but it says we got 12 oh somebody must got a box all right i'm gonna grab that grab that
All right, everything's looking pretty stocked the way I wanted to. Make sure everything is good. Okay, we can use two fresh bleach. All right, yeah, I don't want to spend too much. I want to still stock up this bread so that way we can get the new license and start putting the shit out there. Okay, cool, cool. All right, we're looking Gucci. We're looking Gucci. I will always, honestly, I am so happy they came out with this game and I really hope they do all the updates that they plan on doing onto it. This is a good game. This shit is fun. And shit, I, I've always loved playing simulator games and it's like, like I said, I, I, I would not ever want to work in retail again, personally. But in video game form, sign me up. I'm here all day. You need me to come in for for all day shift? I got you. Cause at Frad Mart, Frad Mart doesn't even feel like work. It feels like home. God damn it! I sound like the most infomercial ass nigga out there. <laughs> hey, at this point, I'm pretty much chilling. I I got out of work, came home to relax a little bit, and I said, you know, fuck it. Like always, I want to hit a stream. So for those that that see my content and see me streaming and all that, like I said, I, I I'm a pretty much a part timer in a way, only because I on, I only stream like after work on like certain days, and then other days just happen to be the weekend, and all I feel like doing is streaming. Part of the reason I feel more for streaming all the time is because for me, like I want to make sure I relax. But I've always said to myself, I want to be a content creator. But oh god damn nigga you trying to run me over let me move ho motherfucker I hope you crash your car now you slut Sorry for the rage but yeah um I'd be having time sitting here just like you know I wanna do something but at the same time of course like not do something Be lazy but not be lazy And let's be real I'm not saying this is a lazy job for anybody to want to do, even if it becomes a career. I'm saying more like, you know, let me get, to, let me just do something I enjoy doing. And one thing I enjoy doing, just playing some random video games, you know, making some commentary to self. Because sometimes I'll talk to myself out of boredom. I'll admit it. I don't give a fuck. So why not try to like, you know, have some fun with it. Hence why I'm here on stream. Now, normally I would make a bunch of like YouTube videos, but I'm like, you know, fuck it. I feel like doing something different. Hey, what's up? How you doing? I'll say welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing good. But yeah, a lot, a lot of times I, I just, I just like just sitting here, just like just thinking while at the same time, you know, chill out, have some fun, play some video games. And now if I connect with people, I'm always welcome with that too, because it's it's always about just enjoying yourself. Have fun. And same time too, you can you can always meet some cool people. But yes, the store is looking popping tonight. Everybody's in here. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, and we restocked. So everything's working out. Excellent. Keep up the good work, Anita. I say you doing good I'm doing good I've just been chilling up today like, like I've been recently saying on the stream I pretty much um, just came off of work so I said fuck it let's chill let's play some games and hence here we are <laughs> all right very happy with my staff I'm trying to see if I can recognize some of the names that I have in here so I can know if they shopped here again or not. But I ain't gonna lie, I use the big name generator because you can list up to 500 names for this damn thing. So I said, okay, I gener I, I, I admit I went to chat GPT and I was like, hey, give me, uh, give me 500 random names. And here we are, 500 random names. Damn, what's good, Joanne? How you doing? Welcome to Fradmart. You find everything? I hope so. 
Hey, Wick, I'm going to just let you know now, if you're somebody who's trying to get to know me to, to ask for a Discord or say you want to show me art or any of that other stuff, I'm going to let you know I am not interested. I don't I don't mean to give you this message, but I give it to everybody because there's too many people that do, that do come in with such shit like that. Okay. All right, all right, so let's see here. Is everything good? All right, everything is good so far. We made 5,000, we're up to 5,000 now. That's good. Make sure everybody else is already in. Yep, there ain't no more customers, so we're gonna close up shop for right now. Bono, definitely a good move. And we got some last minute customers, it's even better. Everybody attention, everybody, Frad Mart is closed for the night. Please check out. Please make sure you got everything you need and have a great night. We'll be open again tomorrow at 8 a.m. in the morning. So please be sure to bring your ass back at 8 in the morning to shop for anything else you need. If you don't have it tonight. Man, I really like, like how this store has been building. Yeah, it's way too much of those random like um people that would just come in or pretty much just bots. And it's like, bro, I I don't need an overlay. I I already could find an overlay if I need to. Do you know how many websites there is that I could just find good looking shit for free? I'm just saying, like, I don't hate I don't hate anybody's hustle, but it gets annoying when it's like you have a majority of of people that just randomly do that to streamers, like. Come and enjoy and engage in the stream. Stop trying to like sell me something that I'm not gonna use. I mean, if you're not here for art, thank you, Bossé. And I'm sorry for giving a message like that. It's, it's like I said, I had too many of those offhand ones. So my apologies. I'm very happy for you to join the stream. But yeah. Um, as you see, I do have it integrated. So if you ever wanted to visit the shop, you are more than welcome to. I would say do it when it's a fresh day. Don't do it right now. Hold on. Nice, nice. We made a profit. 1800. That's good. But yeah, I would say you could hit I visit now and everything. That way you could come into the store. You could come shopping. Hell, if you want, you can even work in the store. Shit, I don't. I've, I've seen it for a while, so I'm just like, you know, fuck it. Let me, let me, let me add it. All right, better yet. We're going to save up a little bit more money. So the store is open. If you need the commands, the, this should be pinned to the top of the chat. I did make sure to put that there just in case for you guys. All right. So sliced bread is something that, yep. Three, well, we'll say 325. Yo, I know it's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's like everybody is trying. I understand everybody's trying to make a buck, but come on now. I'm not that desperate for, for like an overlay. If I really need an overlay, there's a bunch of websites for that. There's a bunch for that. All right, so while we got all that, let's make a purchase. I, I forgot I could do some key functions. All right, hold on. Where's my music at? Here we go. Hmm. All right, let's pay off the bills real fast. All right, and the store is a poppin'. Like I said, if you guys ever want to check out the store while it's open, it's on top of the chat. It should be a pin chat for that for you guys. That way you know the commands. Nice, nice. Wait, we're already out of the cakes? God damn, I got some alcoholics in here. I should really raise the price of the alcohol now thinking about it. 
to be real i should really i don't i don't hate alcohol but i think at the same time if, so, if everybody's gonna buy that shit out like crazy i might as well raise the price actually yeah just because of the kegs the kegs is gonna go up all right hopefully the customers don't hate me too much but it's gonna be 28 bucks for these kegs which is big as hell they keep selling out in the back room i can't keep them for like two seconds there we go honestly it, it does look like a decent layout i do what i need to really do is start holding some boxes and start organizing everything that way everything in the store could look put together because i admit i got it kind of scattered because like for one you got one brand of cereal over here you got another brand of cereal over here i'm pretty sure i have another one just sitting around yep i have a brand of cereal over here like let's be real i should really be moving all of these cereals just one aisle together like just put them right here boom 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 then you have all the cereals but yeah I, I'll, I'll get to that i try to honestly i try to stock based off of what i get for the license i, I feel like it's the easiest way so that way i'm not overstressed about it okay okay let's check back on the numbers The rice is cheap as hell. How the hell is the rice overpriced, you broke bastard? You are kidding me. <laughs> the market price is $6.65. I'm only asking you to pay $5.25. That's a dollar and 40 cents cut off. And it's overpriced? This is Fradmart. We give reasonable prices at a cheap price for you. If if somehow being a dollar and extra is over the market price, everywhere else is overpriced. Don't don't shop. Don't shop. The oil is, is triple six. I just asked for six fifty. How the fuck is that over? I'm done. <laughs> All right. What else? Toilet paper. See, that's what I'm saying. None of my stuff is overpriced. They're just saying it's overpriced. Just say you're broke. Because <laughs> at the end of the day at Fradmart, we give nice, cheap prices. How the fuck is it overpriced? <laughs> that's insane. You know what's other, another thing that's bothering me? I do have a setting in here to where um, the customer should be able to talk to you. But I don't see none of the voice lines pop up for that. Because I, I wrote a bunch of lines like... I have some cursing me out. I have some, you know, like saying, hey, how you doing? I got some just saying Fred Mart. Like, bro, I, I don't know why, it's, but I got to find a way to fix that. If I could fix that, oh, this shit would be even better. But as you see, I'm I'm always just going to find a way to just do something with, when it comes to Fred Mart. Especially playing this simulator. This simulator is too good to not play. All right. Uh, need some more chicken yeah chicken be flying off the damn shelves I, I i always need to make sure i have chicken all right but i think we have just about enough so we can start um adding the new stuff so i'm going to do that starting the next day in the game so that way i'll have customers buying it that's another thing too with simulators like these you don't need to technically have strategy you could just go at it but i always come up with a little strategy and mine's is very simple make sure to get the job done for each day let all the customers do their thing and then before i start the new day that's when i buy the new license that's when i buy up all the new items set all the prices so that way everything is good and set and i don't have to worry about it I will admit we got a lot of back stock, but luckily I always make sure to buy a new rack for every new bit of items that we get. So I, I could try to keep them organized. It's never a guarantee, but as long as I try to, that's all that matters. Hey, hey, I seen y'all too. Don't get freaky in the back corner, all right? 
I don't need a. We don't got janitors in here. I'm the only one cleaning this. I'm not dealing with that. I'm telling you, you gotta watch some of these customers here at Frat Mart. It's a little too free living, if you know what I'm saying. Last thing you want is customers bumping uglies in lines. Oh yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all splitting up now. Y'all not doing it now after I called after I called y'all bitch asses out, huh? I'm remember you now. That's why I got these names up. Oh, I'm remembering you both of you motherfuckers. Winfield. Got me fucked up. Oh, my my fault, Terrence. Damn. Just, just tell me to move. But I do like this, honestly. It's very nice. I have it set to where there's names for everybody except for the walk-bys. So if they walk by the store and they don't have a name tag on them, that means they're not coming to shop. Or they just left from shopping. Have a good night. I hope you enjoyed your shopping. Please come again to Fradmar. See, Fradmar, we take pride in helping out our customers. As well as running into shelves. I got to work on this. How you feeling, Alyssa? You having a good night? I hope, hope, you, hope you have been having a good night at least. What about you, Jacqueline? You been having a good night? I, had, I hope so. Would you be mad if I called you just Anna? Just just, just for short. Or Anne. You know, I'm going to call you Anne for now. Because I, I feel bad every time I fuck up your name. But Anne, are you having a good night? All right. Go, go. Look how quick they are. Look at this professionalism. Good shit. And yes, I'll admit, I also have a mod for the cashiers to not only they move quicker, but if anybody buys items in bulk, instead of them going one by one, they just throw the whole stack in. It's so much easier. <laughs> Plus, as you see, it gets more customers in, more customers out. Nice. Now we up to 8,000. I am satisfied with this. Okay. Only six products not found, but we made a $3,300 profit. That's good money. That's good money. All right, bottle of water and a four pack of eggs. Bottle of water, four pack of eggs. Where's the bottle of water? Where's the bottle? All right, I got that bottle of water. Is there, is, it might be the other bottle of water. Oh, shit. Wrong thing I'm looking at. Oh, all right. Well, this bottle of water is fine. It said 12 pack of eggs, 12 packs. It's four pack. Okay, this bottle of water. Uh, bring this down to two dollars. Twelve pack of eggs. Oh, twelve pack of eggs is already good. It was already at, at a set price. Ooh, I just noticed my follower list. We're one one away from getting twenty five. Once we get to twenty five, we're cooking. Now, I'll be honest. I wrote weird names up there for the follower thing, but I haven't decided if I was going to do something interesting for it or not. But I feel like I should, honestly. I really feel like I should. So I really do feel like once once I get to 25, I don't know. Maybe like since it's called We're Cooking, I'll play a cooking game. I haven't played a cooking game on, on this on this stream in a very, very long time. So I could just do that. That or you know, do some real life cooking. I mean I'm not the best cook in the world, but shit, I could whip up something on like a little mini stream or something oh wait oh we got enough for for, for, for a bigger store you know what we'll save up for this i first want to get the new license because i feel like if i get the new license quicker for each type of like um setup for this store then once i get the bigger part of the store it won't be it'll be less of an issue all right and new items are bought. Peppa, rice, chips. Okay, okay. 
Nice. We got new brand of chips. We got new flour, hashed potatoes. We got different type of sandwich bread. We got different type of rice. We got pepper and we got some more powdered sugar. We got a lot of powdered sugar. We already got three versions of powdered sugar. That's how you know this is truly a store being built. All right, so we'll s let's let me see here. How much is it for just one of these each? Like all together. 351 and I'm sitting at 48. All right, fuck it. Mm. You know what? Yeah, that's a good start off. Three of everything. We'll get three of everything and I'm gonna do the same thing like I always do. I'm gonna grab one of them and link it to the shelf then throw it onto the shelf. All right, so let's take care of these new items now. So we got the new brand of flour. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so it's just one for those. All right, hold on. Just so I want to do that. Oh yeah, I didn't put it on a rack. Well, fuck it. It, it, I can do it now. Boom. All right, new brand of chips. You know, we'll put the chips over on this side. Okay, I just thought about something too. Now, I need certain boxes so I can make certain moves, correct? So, oh, it's gonna be a tricky spot to try to find because I don't want it to look cluttered. But we're going to keep a certain size box and keep it with us. And that will be my moving box. It sounds extra as fuck, it sounds a little ghetto. But you know what, fuck it, it's gonna work. See, this is the type of strategy I do. Okay, four, four, boom, boom. Everything gets two shelves. All right, rice, definitely throw it up. Okay, cool, cool. Oh yeah, definitely get it on the rack. All right, the good thing is I just remembered I didn't put the chips on the rack, but there's another box of chips, so I'm Gucci. Okay, I know I put a spot for the bread, so I put the bread down here. Yep. Okay, chips, give this a spot. Fun, go. Pepper, pepper definitely needs a spot. See, look, pepper could be right there next, next to salt. Okay. Note to self, hold this box. There we go. Yes, I have a mini case of OCD. Just a mini one, not, not a lot, not a little. All right, boom, so we got those two boxes. All right, yeah, the long boys, we need to keep one of these. Oh yeah, powdered sugar. There we go. Go ahead with the long boys here. All right, so with this idea, I'm going to make sure I have a day within the game to where like, I make sure to take the time to do all this. Okay, the bread got restacked. And Oh, I didn't put it on the rack. Let's say we mean rack is full. This is a small item. And so did Peppa. Alright, nice, nice. So we looking good. Oh, this is one of the new items too I didn't put on yet. What is this? Oh, this is potatoes. There we go. So now we got the potatoes. 
Wait, is this a different size box? Oh no, no, I already have this box. All right, now put it on the rack. And there we go. New items are in. Everything has a slot on the rack and everything has a slot on the shelf. Now we have room for two more items. So before I open the store now, now it's time to set the prices, which this is why I like this part here. With this part here, I can simply just go right down and just type all the prices up. Okay, chips. The market price is six twenty-seven. Six dollar chips. By right, flour, nine forty-nine. Nine twenty-five. Because flour does get get pricey very quickly. Mashed potatoes, five on the dot. Pepper. Damn, pepper is nine oh two. Sheesh. Uh I feel bad, so eight seventy five. The new rice is 487, 475. Because if I was buying my own stuff, I'll buy a lot of rice. I I love I like rice. All right, sandwich bread 183. Make that 150. I think dollar 50. 616 for powdered sugar. We'll do six. See, fair prices, all under the market price, so they're all technically cheap. All right, so we're all good. We got space for everything. Hmm. All right, first time I'm gonna do this, but it looks like I could uh, overstock just a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do for these. Uh, mashed potatoes. I'm a potato. Put one back here. Flour. One flour. bread get one of those Pop sugar get three of those all right we should be good all right so we have our boxes we have our new items fuck it let's open up frat mart is open frat mart is open come get your shit while we open i know i should i should come up with a better opening slogan don't worry i'll come up with something soon but for now I need my shoppers to come in. As you see, they all roaming in. But Fradmar is looking good, looking definitely shaped up very well. Okay, so let's take a peek at what the next items are on the license list. I know I'm already to the point where I'm already saved up, but let me, let me just see what's up with the license. All right, bleach, cleaner, dishwasher tablet, cleaner, dish soap, toilet paper. Okay, so it's more of the of, of the cleaning products. All right, that's not bad. Hmm. Okay, so the next row of licenses are not open until 56. So for right now, only 42s are open. So we got that. Oh, they're all the same price. I just noticed that. I thought they was always different. Okay, so I got one license that's more the toilet papers and the cleaners. Let's see here, ground beef, ham and cheese, ham pastry, ham, lasagna. Okay, so frozen and fridge items. That's definitely that license. And coffee, soda, 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 soda. <laughs> Lights, brown sugar. Okay, and that one is a mixture of cooler and shelf. All right, so shelf, shelf cooler, cooler freezer. All right, nice, nice. Well, actually two freezers, because I've noticed every time it's a freezer order, I need two freezers. Okay, so I feel I'm definitely going to need a bigger store to add in all these. I feel like it'll make more sense to do that. All right, so yeah. We're just, we'll save up for the next store for right now. I feel like that's the better option. What you did, what could you not find? Wait, are we already at to toilet paper? Good intentions. 
Oh shit, we are all out of toilet paper. I did not notice that. Oh, we're out of dish. Well, I didn't expect us to be out of tablets. Oh, I just realized I didn't take thought into the fact that like, since I went a day without restocking, it's already like busy as fuck because of it. Ooh, so yeah, I, I got I gotta take care of a lot of stuff now. I mean, I have the money for it, luckily. But jeez, I just noticed that. How are we out of salt for the first time? I have never been out of salt. For real, that, that, that is the first time I've been out of salt. Okay. Oh, we definitely need cheese. Can can never be too, too low on cheese. Uh, Make sure we add two more cheese. Definitely need some more coffee. Definitely need more of that black tea. Oh damn, we, we definitely running low on stock. Okay, that should be good. Oof. All right, that was a hefty price, but we do have everything. God damn. You know it's hefty when that shit even landed here. Of course the restocker is using this. Why why wouldn't it? Ah. Uh, I I I hope he adds an update in the future to where you can have have your stocking people help you like restock on the shelf if you already have placement got it move just ask me to move y'all it'll make it easier okay it's being restocked there we'll put that there then for now ah it's with paper of course it's being used I'm so happy the people in, in this world are so respectful to where like none of them are trying to steal the items. Gives me time to fucking put all these in place. There we go. Yeah, I'm just sitting here on my shift just restocking all the shelves at this point. Let me put the shit back. I'm always about to get ran over. All right, I guess for once I actually overbought the milk. This is just very tedious, I admit. It's like, while technically I have a I have a grocery simulator, it's almost like a warehouse simulator with the amount of shit I'm doing. I do it all for the customers. God damn, how did this get all the way over here? Yeah, 
Damn, that's how you know we had a lot of stuff. I had a box all we get down here. There we go. Put the extra stuff somewhere. Oh, almost left the box. Actually, I almost left a bunch of boxes. This is how you know I had a lot of shit. Okay, is there any more boxes that are secretly just spread about? Now I'm backtracking all my areas and shit just to make sure. There's always one box that always gets stuck up there. Just always one. What what is that? I can't even tell what the what the label is from here. Motherfucker. It looks something white, so I want to say toilet paper or something. Whatever it is, it got lost in the mix. All right. Yeah, that's toilet paper. Motherfuckers. All right. Well, the good thing is everything is at least being used up. So I can add to that shell. Good. Everything's looking much better, looking normal now. Even though some of it is low, it's still at least looking normal. All right. Um, get those. Definitely need that. I might as well just pre make this list now. Everything's looking looking good. Not too much of everything I need. Y'all hear that, right? This shit fire. I will say too, I'm definitely somebody who likes adventure and like a lot of different musical tastes. So I, I like a lot of different things. And I'm one of those people that if I want something to dance to, man, I need a party joint. I, I need something like techno or some EDM. That shit will definitely always throw me in the groove. All right, so far we're looking good. We're looking good. Where we at? 59 customers, five couldn't find items, whatever. But we had a total of 64 customers. All right, ooh. All right, we lost a lot of money in profit, but that's only because of the restocking. I had to restock a lot of stuff I didn't realize. That and the upgrades definitely took out a lot. If it wasn't for the upgrades, it probably would be much lower. Okay, so we need both oils. Prices change. New homie. What? So what the? We'll just keep that 350. We're already close. 
Hey, what's good? What's cracking? Welcome to the stream. Hey, yo, I hope you actually 25. We met the 25 for the first time. We're cooking now, baby. We cooking. Sorry, don't mean to sound overexcited, but that's that, that's what that's been one of the goals already. <laughs> but yeah, I'm doing good though. Just enjoying this good good time with the simulator. I hope you're doing good. Hope your day going well. All right. Okay. Are we ready for another day? Alyssa, you ready? Jackie, you ready? Aina, you ready? We're gonna have a nice day. We're gonna do some nice shopping. We're gonna be good. I'm doing good. Oh, I'm just let you know now. If you're somebody who's trying to sell me art or you're asking for Discord, the answer is no. I'm not not doing it. I'm only saying that as a disclaimer because I, I get too many of the crazy people coming in all the time. Oh, we actually have room down here. I didn't even notice that. All right, but the store is open. Everything's all set. Oh, we actually don't have no more vodka. All right, let's go ahead and purchase and now spend another day of grabbing items. Please stop getting a box stuck up there every time. Okay, okay, okay. let's get over here. God damn it. I swear they always get to it before I could finish stocking. Stop pushing me, bruh. God damn. These cars are always pushing me out the way. What the hell? I didn't think I bought too much bread. I guess I got too much bread. Well, I do like bread, so I mean, like. New homie. I ain't really bothered by it. What the f hey, how you doing? Welcome up, new homie. Hey, I'm doing good. Just chilling right now. Just chilling at some Frad Mart, getting the business all together. Got a lot of damn boxes. A lot of boxes. Well, that's good. Just let you know now, if you're somebody about to ask for the Discord or say you want to sell me something art-wise, the answer is no. I am not doing it. I don't need it. Please and thank you. Okay, did I grab everything from this side? I did, okay. Did I grab everything down here? Okay, the rack is full. That's what they keep saying for this. I put a spot for this, did I? Okay, I did. So there is a spot. Yep, there we go. Okay, so I have filled up the spot. That's what that was. Right. It's a good thing to have this extra shelves. These extra shelves help out so much. Goddamn, we full on the liquor. First, I'll say it's occupied. It's potatoes. I have tons of these. I'm pretty sure I got room for potatoes. Alright, let's see how everybody's doing. Alright, everybody's doing good around here. That's good. Alright.
right, keep up the good work, you guys. We gotta make sure Frat Mart stands out as the best store all around. You already know. Oh, but I'm doing good though. Just chilling, play, just playing some Supermarket Simulator. Honestly, this game is very addicting. If you if you're somebody who's a fan of simulator games like how I am, it, it's, it's it's a very addicting game. I always want to play this almost every day, but I always gotta chill. Okay, cool. Keep these empty boxes here. I knew I left the box. Something told me I did. And it will say occupied. There we go. Put this with the other flower. I kind of like having the names all around here. Oh yeah, very relaxed game. Wait, did I just lose money? How? Okay, let us see. What can I restock upon at the moment? Actually, did I pay my bills? I didn't even pay the bills. It's a good thing to give you like a three day distance within your, your, your bills. That way you got time to catch back up to it. All right, I need three more racks and I could hire a fourth restocker. And I need to get to level 50 so that way I could get a fourth cashier. Okay. What do you like coffee or tea? I'm honestly a tea guy. I'm I, I tried coffee. For some reason, coffee doesn't do it for me. Plus, I don't like the uncomfortable feeling of having to use the bathroom so much because of drinking coffee. I like tea better because it's smoother and, and honestly it has more flavor to me. I don't like the bitterness of coffee too, where you gotta add a million things. With tea, you could just add just one or two things and you're good. Oh yeah, this slot is already full. All right, let's see what we do around here. But yeah, today's already a good stream already. I already hit the first goal of, of hitting 25. Well, actually the second goal. The first goal was hitting 10 followers. Now we're at 25, so I'm feeling good about that. The next goal now is to hit 50 followers. But of course, we just gotta keep at it before we before we can make it work. Mm -hmm. All right, store is closing up. Do I have enough around here? Oh, we got another customer. Come on in. Okay. Ooh. Jeez, sorry. Come on in. We we about to close up soon, but you know, last minute people could go ahead and hop in. Oh yeah, I play I play a bunch of other games. But I say if you look at the title, actually, like um not not being snarky as I say that. If you look at the title, today I'm actually making sure I play three games. Today, right now, I'm playing Supermarket Simulator. Then I'm gonna play NHL uh, 24, and then after that, we're gonna finish off the day with like some Fall Guys. You know, I call it a little gaming carousel, so that way it's just a random pick of games that I just randomly play. Because most times I dedicate I dedicate a stream to one game at a time. All right, cool. No more new customers. Attention customers, we are closed for tonight. Please get the last bit of your stuff. Please get your stuff ringed up. And please get the fuck out so I can close up. The store will be open again at 8 in the morning. That is 8 in the morning. Thank you. Have a good night, you guys. Thank you for shopping at Fred Mart. Always love y'all. God damn. We are running on shit fast. But yeah, most times my type of games are pretty much a mixture of everything. 
You know what's funny? I literally just said that like I'm not giving out discords and I don't know if you heard me or not. I'm not giving out discords because at the end of the day, I'm not talking with a bot. I don't want to sell. I don't want art. None of that other stuff. I don't even, I, I'm good. <laughs> at this point, I at this point in the future, if people want to quote unquote show me art, I would rather make a discord page. That way everybody can visit the page, but I'm not giving out a personal discord. I will say a lot of these bots are persistent as fuck today, like super persistent. I feel like I feel like I had like about three or four of them motherfuckers in one stream already today. But you know, it's fine. I I'm not sweating it because I'm still gonna sit here and enjoy my games regardless. Okay, okay. So let's see what I need before I move forward in the next day. Remake this list. All right, milk is a must. Definitely can use all the flour. Get some rice. Fancy, some fancy spaghetti. some candy oh yeah we need chocolate bars uh, we are completely out of chocolate bars and we definitely need cereal need bleach some dishwasher tablets Definitely get get a head on the shampoo just because it's, it's so so little boxes. Same thing for the cheese. Same thing for the powdered sugar. We are out of chicken. God damn, we need to fix up a lot of stuff. Definitely can use some more butter. Always get some butter. Hmm. Yeah, definitely get some more sushi. Sticks. Get some more cats up. Sorry, the music got control of me for a second. At least it looked like the new stuff definitely is selling out fast, which is good. All right, and nice. So now let's move forward on to the next day. All right, 57 are satisfied. Five couldn't find anything, but a total of 62 customers. And all in all, we made a $261 profit. I mean, honestly, as long as we make a profit, I'm fine with it. Damn it, I did not look at that thing. All right, let's get, take a quick look at the prices. Everything so far is looking good, looking fine. Yeah, the keg is purposely overpriced. Same thing for that six pack, you know? 350 for that. 
13 for that now i'm not against drinking at all i, I i'm a i'm a nice little whips wh whiskey sip of myself but in frat mart we try to make sure to, to to let the alcohol to let people that like their alcohol know you're going to have to pay a price for the alcohol here plus not only that it sells out so fast so it's kind of like if it's going to sell out really fast i might as well make sure that like it's priced at a good price that i can make something off of the fact you guys are all buying it fast the funny thing is i have a system in here to where i could put um discounts on everything but i purposely have not been doing that i should but i purposely haven't i more see it as if i use it i need to use it on an item that's not selling much or not selling well that way then when i do use it it makes sense all right the cereal went down make that five for life candy went up in the market put four on that but so far everything is sell selling in like an even manner like i haven't noticed much of anything not really selling that much per se but it's all looking good all right coca cola is still going a bit so i could put that up a little bit Oh yeah, the rice, six fifty. This other reason why I like to make sure I go back and backtrack all these, so that way I, I see how my prices are. I'm telling you, these small mods are things that I really hope they just make a part of the full update in the future. Because like, bro, this will make the game so much easier for everybody. The fact you can just see what's there, what's been sold, what's overpriced, what's not overpriced. The best part, nobody thinks the prices are expensive, especially for the for the alcohol. All right, yeah, we ran out of that. So, no, see, that's why I said I, I don't mind putting the alcohol the way it is, because everything is under market price, but they're all technically expensive or overpriced. Yeah, I just say you're broke. It's okay. All right, now let's open up again. Everybody, everybody, Fred Mart is open. Fred Mart is open. Come get your stuff, come shop for the good stuff. You know, we got everything. We got all the stuff that you need. All right, you guys, let's have another good day right here. Make sure every customer gets helped. Leave with a smile. Every customer is satisfied. Let them know Fred Mart is the best Mart to ever go to. I know they got quesos down the block, but here at Fred Mart, you know how we step up the quesos? Easy. We got prices. Prices that will save money for you and your mama alike. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to be restocking again. Oh my God, there's always a box up there. There's always a box up there. I'm trying to go really fast, but every time I, I get to a fast point. Why you guys always grab the shit that I just put on the shelf? Grab some of the other shit so that way I can have time to put this all on the shelf. I need to get a bigger radius around me. Yeah, this should do. God damn it. How are you guys always occupying the items that I need to grab? And every time I'm always getting ran over by a red car. It's always a red fucking car. All right, let's get this over here. The rack is full. All right, I gotta come back to that. The rack is full for that too. Okay. God damn. This is both the good and bad part with this mod. The good part, I can get all the shit I need right away. 
rather than having five million shipments, everything could be shipped at the same time. But then it's like this where everything's always scattered. I at least know the customers that's been asking about the chocolate is satisfied. Okay, the rack is full. And don't worry, somebody's gonna come in and buy a shit ton of chicken. It always happens. Oh my god, it's always this red card, bro. I'm gonna get your license plate and just sue you at this point. Cause what the fuck? You're always running me over. All right, cool. Make sure none of my boxes are over there. Did I get everything that I can reach? Yes. I'm amazed. Did I really fill up all the racks of chicken? All right, fuck it. Chicken got another spot. I never thought I would say I have extra shampoo. That's actually weird. Okay, shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. All right, saying shrimp is full, so we got extra shrimp. I do like the fact of getting to the point of just having a bunch of extras. It definitely helps out. Uh, okay. You know what? We're still going to celebrate the 25, even though it looked like the last two decided to just dip out. But you know, it's all right. We hit 25, we cooking, baby. I'm definitely going to have to be about that still. It's progress nonetheless. All right. All these happy customers. Everybody gets to enjoy fine prices with fine service. I hope you're making sure to tell everybody welcome to Frad Mart. I hope you guys are enjoying yourself. Hope you're getting what you need. Hope you're all having a good day. Because here at Frad Mart, we try to make sure to please all of our customers. I think, all right, so what I'm going to do on my off time, I'm going to make sure to use with these boxes and move around a bunch of stuff. Because I definitely know I need to. I think the best part too of having them all on like small shelf settings definitely help the demand as well as give the restocker something to do. If I set them all to like straight four, I would definitely need more shelves. Way more than I than I have right now. All right, I need to actually, I think I should get a second set of boxes. Yeah, sec second set of every box. That way I could have everything sorted. Okay, okay, small game plan. Game plan. Oh, take care of these bills. Well, man, I have a lot of times where I'll just sit here and just ram, just and just bop to the music. All right, we still got some last minute customers coming through. So I'm gonna leave it open for these customers to come by. Yeah, we got a bunch of last minute customers. 
come on in come on in before we close up shop I want to make sure all the last minute customers get to make it in all right cool attention shoppers it's that time again the shop is closing up I need you all to get your things grab the last thing that you need and then once you have everything you need please make your way to the cashiers up here so that way we can check you guys out and then you have a good night Fred Mart will be open at 8 in the morning so come back at 8 if you ever need anything see this is good structure this is good work good structure and my finger hurts so much. you ever just come you ever just like for any way that does that works a full-time job and streams like have you ever just randomly have like a weird scar or a weird cut on your body and you're just like where the fuck did i come from and that shit always is something weird that happened at work I, I that's me almost every day my job is not even like that like that much like craziness but it's always something that happens hey m i'm not trying to rush you but you gotta get the fuck out of here thank you All right, how are we looking for today? 14 items are claimed to be overpriced. I'm not going through this so again. It's always one customer. It's literally always just one customer out of a group of like eight, seven, nine, 23. 23 people bought cakes and yet one person had to say it's overpriced. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all niggas are trolling me now. The beer was expensive for one person. Well, if it was expensive for you, maybe that's a sign you should stop drinking. I don't know what to tell you. All right, that's the last customer. Who close out the day? Sixty-nine customers. Ha <laughs> ha. Sixty-nine. Only one product not one product found expensive, but you know, fuck it. I already know what that is. That's just a drunk that can't afford it. And we made nearly a thousand dollar profit. That's good. That's very good. All right, the butter changed in price. Let's go see what's good with that butter. Butter, butter, butter. Oh, butter is fine. It's not that far off. All right, so let's go ahead and keep pushing with this. Open up for another day. Let everybody do the thing. Let's see here. What do we need stocking wise? So far for once, everything looks pretty good. I could just grab one of everything, almost. Honestly, didn't mean to buy all those, but fuck it. I might as well buy them now, get them out the way. Two chickens. One cereal. Get a tuna while we're at it. Need some cleaner. Haven't bought yogurt in a minute. Definitely need some yogurt. Damn, they cleaned out the cakes.
place is occupied. It's always goddamn occupied. How's the rack full? Uh, if this rack full of shit is going to keep bothering me. I will admit, I probably need to just keep better tracking of certain items. Alright, are we looking? Okay, so all that's left is just whatever is around here. Okay, I don't have much space for all this extra shipment shit. I don't have that much extra room in here. I need some water. Let's see, do we got any bills? Of course we got bills. Why wouldn't we have bills? All right. So far, it looks very promising to just go ahead and like buy some more items to sell. So I definitely feel like it's about that time to add one of these because I already have all um, like a bunch of shelves right now and I actually have a cooler. I can go with either this or this and it won't and it won't like really hurt. Wait, no, actually, I probably got to add a shelf. Oh, yeah, I got to add a shelf. I only got room for like two products. Wait, if I only have room for two products and I have a cooler, I could put down the cooler. It's going to be weirdly placed, but I can put down a cooler somewhere. Yeah, actually, I should really grow the store. All right, you know what? Fuck it. We're just going to save up to grow the store because I have no space now looking at it. This is, it would not be a good look to try to put a cooler somewhere. We could take a look, but I doubt it. Nope. Nope. Yeah, it's like trying to put down the cooler would just make it look odd and clunky actually wait no wait I can't pull the cooler in this spot why not Was this shit glitching with me? Oh yeah, this shit was glitching. All right, so I actually have a spot for the cooler. Right here. Actually, while I'm at it, slide this a little bit more to the left. Bong. Okay, so we have room for the cooler stuff. Sorry, we could get a new license. Ooh, but I'm almost there to grow the store, actually. Mm. I really want to grow the store more, but I just made more space. Like, I literally just made some space. You know what? We'll be able to grow the store in a moment. Let's go ahead and get that new license. So we're going to focus on getting the sodas and getting the light browns as well as the fact we need shelf yeah two more shelves will actually be nice because i got a lot of extra shipment that i've been over over grabbing so first things first 
add two racks onto the list. All right, everybody, you know the drill. Frat Mart is closing. Everybody get your shit and get out. Look, you guys know me by now. This how how you doing, Malik? Malik. Yo, Malene is the one for me. Alright, but cool. No more customers coming in. So now we are at our last bit of customers. Okay, so I do have enough to expand the store now. But, since I also have enough to add some more items, which will speed up the process, I definitely feel like I should really, like, um... Hmm. I should do a couple of move arounds. Damn, what's good, Faye? Sheesh, looking good today. Faye's, Faye's a baddie, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm having too much fun with this. All right, but hopefully this shelf will wear it out in a bit. <laughs> Excuse me. Nice, we're doing good so far. All right, come on everybody, we are closing up. Please get the last video stuff. Thank you for shopping at Fred Mart. We are open at eight o'clock tomorrow. Please come again. All right, we Gucci. Okay, we Gucci, good. All right, one product not found, Six, 63 satisfied customers, two found expensive. There's always somebody that's just so damn just broke, bro. Come on. Okay, cereals. Why did the cereals change price just now? Oh yeah, definitely gotta lower that price for the cereal. There we go, not too bad. There we go, we got some new product. Got a bunch of soda, sodas and a bunch of sugar. All right, so let's go ahead and get these prices set up first. Medium roast, we're gonna have over 13 bucks. Just sushi, we'll just call it just. So, just soda will be 250. Fuji, Fuji soda, 275. Pulp, 250. Rosipio, three dollars. Said three dollars. All right, and brown sugar, six dollars. Hmm. God damn it! This is what ninety-five life do to you. I'm not even tired, honestly. For some reason, my body just won't stop fucking yawning around this time. It just won't fucking stop yawning. I'm not even tired, and I'm just yawning. Sorry, I got a little pissed with myself. Okay, so we got our new shelves. There we go. Get a little everything. Nice. All right, so let's go ahead and add our new stuff to the store. Go. Yeah, try to move all this back here.
There we go. Get a little space in here first. Actually, we got a little bit more space. So we'll move that here. This here. Boom, boom. All right, nice, nice. Now, I know realistically, this is very small for anybody to work around. I would not try to put it that actual close. But in this game, it's fresh, so we could do that. All right, so just on the shelf. Make sure I get everything on a shelf first before I do anything else. It's full on the rack. Okay. Oh yeah, I did say I needed, I wanted another box. There we go, so I got another one of those boxes. Okay, so this one's not on the rack. Okay, so I already have that full. Fuck. All right, this will be an extra slot now. All right, 48 is on the shelf. This one definitely throw inside here. All right, so I just got to remember each box fill up like each shelf, so. In total, I can only get like two at a time. Get these sodas loaded up. Bring it back. Bring it back. There we go. Oh yeah, just in case. There we go. Clear off that label, just in case. Yep, all right, this is the extra. Definitely get this extra put down somewhere. Okay, this is the newer item. is laid about this right here. and there we go of course it's occupied by the fucking stalker Sodas. Alright, 
right, nice. So now we have our new stuff. All the shelves are looking nice and stocked. The prices are already made. Oh yeah, we're definitely looking good now. I'm very proud of this of, of this shop, honestly. A lot of hard work has been put into this place, but it's looking very good. Everything looks very much in order. Now I just gotta spend some time and move around stuff. Once I start moving around stuff, oh, this store is gonna look 10 times better. Actually, let me try some real fast first. Definitely gotta let this the salt get to worn down. Then try and run the salt because I wanna move the salt all here and then I wanna make this all where the pepper is. That way I can have these a little bit more organized. Cause the pepper's over here while the salt's over here and it's like, they should be next to each other. Like I said, I know it's gonna look ugly, but I have a plan. All right, so I need these six to get worn out. Once these six are gone, then I'll be good. Damn, okay, that's the other part. Definitely gotta get, get these used up first. Okay, once they're used up, take off the label. All right, good, good. Okay. Put in a lot of work, got a lot of new items. Shelf is looking good. The shop is looking nice and full. Now the next step is to save up to upgrade the shop in full. So. We're gonna go ahead and stop um, the simulator from here. I have definitely enjoyed this shop. Frad Mart is gonna to continue to grow, continue to be awesome. So for the YouTube recording, I will see you guys on the next video. That's all I'm gonna say, because honestly there's no point in me saying this outro. Subscribe, follow all that good stuff, y'all. Yeah.